What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we have an absolutely awesome video on the Batik Ranchu. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description and make sure you like our Facebook page, which is pretty new and is also linked to our Facebook group as well. Today, we're gonna to be doing a video on the Batik or Dragon Scale Ranchu as is as it is known in Chinese. Now, we are not gonna be just focusing on the ranchu, we will also be looking at a few other goldfish, but mainly this video is going to be about the ranchu in particular. And if you don't know what batik or dragon scale is, then this video is definitely for you. Now, the batik or dragon scale fish is very, very rare and a real, real sought after fish. And one of our subscribers about two weeks ago sent a video to me and showed me his absolutely amazing dragon scale ranchu, which he newly got from a supplier. And I thought, what better thing to do than to do a video all about this fish in particular and having a look at the dragon scale fish and the way the scale patterns form on these fish because they're really, really unique and something you definitely don't see every day. So what I'm gonna do is put a few videos on the screen. Now it's really hard to find and Google the Batik Ranchu or Batik Goldfish and also Dragon Scale Goldfish because there really isn't that much content online about these fish and I thought it would be really good to provide an informational video and get a bit of exposure about this rare fish. A lot of sellers and a lot of breeders will tell you that this fish is rare or special but in this case, the batik or the dragon scale fish is definitely a rare one and one that many hobbyists have been searching a long, long time for, many years in fact, to get one in their collection. So without further ado, I'm gonna get some really amazing pictures and videos on the screen. We're gonna be looking a little bit in depth to the batik ranchu or the dragon scale fish, however you'd like to call it or pronounce it. And we're gonna be really looking at the scales in particular on this fish and what makes a normal ranchu differentiate from a batik ranchu. So without further ado, let's get it on the screen now and let's check out some amazing fish. So first up, we're gonna have a few pictures on the screen of different Batik fancy goldfish that I found on the internet. First up, you can see we have an Aranda. And what differentiates a Batik or dragon scaled fish from a normal fish is the scale pattern and the scale movement and how the scale shines as well. Now, firstly, you'll see on the Aranda, the scales are in all different directions. Similar to this Ranchu, the scales are generally larger than normal fancy goldfish. They are also in a range of different sizes, so you may get some small scales, some medium, and some large. And also, they alternate in their direction and the way they are on the fish. Generally, you'll find the fish's scales move in one swift direction from the head all the way down to the tail of the fish. But you'll notice on these pictures, the fish have more of a swirling pattern. The scales are in, they are sort of misaligned, similar to what you would see on a mirror carp. We have a different scale placements, although these fish aren't sort of leather or what can I say? They aren't Deutz or scaleless as it's known in German. They are fully scaled unlike a mirror carp, but the scales are in different directions and different patterns and it creates a very new unique fish. I believe these actually come from a breeding and they aren't specifically bred for the batik or the dragon scale look and it actually is just a genetic effect that comes out. Now on this ranchu video we can see here the scales are more of, more of that dragon scale and it looks very similar to a standard fish. However, these scales are generally larger than a standard ranchu and you can see they have a real metallic sheen to them. Now generally you'll find on the dragon scale fish they have that metallic sheen on the edge or the leading edge of the scale rather than the whole scale. They kind of look similar to a Sakura ranchu or a Sakura aranda where some of the scales are metallic, otherwise known as ginrin in Japanese, and the other scales are matte. 
This fish on the video, the orange one, isn't a, probably as far of a dragon scale as you would generally see, but it does have those elements to it. Now here you can see that real metallic edge to those scales on this lovely Calico Ranchu. Not only is this a high quality fish, but it has an absolutely superb outer edge on every scale and it really shows off that dragon scale effect and that dragon scale look. Here you can see the same on this ranchu, this red and white ranchu. You can see the outer sheen on those edges and also you'll notice that the scales are very big. They are not like a standard small scale on a ranchu. They are a very large size and similar to a fully scaled mirror carp. Really nice large scales and it really creates a very unique look. Now I do have a range of media being YouTube shorts, YouTube videos and pictures as well on the video today and it was really hard to find some nice sources and resources to put into this video because there isn't many people speaking about the batik or the dragon scaled fish and it was really hard to find enough information on the internet which is why I thought I would make this video today. Now this ranchu here is a Kirin ranchu and you can really see how those metallic scales are of a really decent size on the fish. Really nice quality fish but it but with that dragon scale as well it creates a really unique look. Not only are the scales metallic they are also slightly in different places. There are large scales next to smaller scales and it creates a sort of jigsaw puzzle effect look on the fish. Now here we have a slightly better quality video of a ranchu, not the highest quality ranchu I must say, but you can really see the way the direction of the scales slightly change and they aren't all in that linear sort of columned look or columned fashion. It may look as if the fish has been damaged and the scales have regrown, but this is just generally the look of the batik or dragon scale ranchu. Now here you can see the video that was actually submitted by one of our subscribers. So I really shout out to Jose or Jose for submitting this video. And here you can see his absolutely stunning quality ranchu, red and white ranchu, amazing, amazing quality. And you'll notice, especially on the caudal peduncle and the back of this fish, the scales are very large and larger than a standard ranchu. And they have that metallic sheen to the edge prominent in the dragon scale fish and it creates for a really stunning fish and it has such presence in the tank and it looks absolutely beautiful so thank you for submitting this video and prompting me to do this video idea so hopefully you have enjoyed this informational video we did today if you want to see some more videos like this then let me know down in the comment section or if you've got any video ideas as well let me know down below if you've got any goldfish video links that you want me to have a look at or potentially do a video on you can send them to me at fancygoldfishfanatics at gmail.com or otherwise link them down in the comment section but that is actually it for today's video hopefully you have enjoyed it hopefully i will see you on the next video but until then, remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.